Now that you know how to construct the MO diagram for almost any simple organic molecule, what can we use it for? The most important utility of MO diagrams is that they allow us to identify a molecule's specific orbitals known as its frontier molecular orbitals. These are the highest occupied molecular orbital, or the HOMO, and the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital, or the LUMO. In most cases, these are the orbitals that will either donate or accept electrons in a chemical reaction. As its name implies, the highest occupied molecular orbital is the highest energy orbital, or orbitals, that has electrons in it. The lowest unoccupied molecular orbital is the lowest energy orbital without electrons in it. Every molecule has a HOMO and a LUMO. Let's figure out what the HOMO and LUMO of the following molecule, glycolaldehyde, are. From the Lewis structure, we know that there are three CH sigma bonds, one CC sigma bond, two CO sigma bonds, and one OH sigma bond. The orbitals with oxygen will be slightly lower than the orbitals with carbon or hydrogen since oxygen is more electronegative than either of the other two. The sigma star orbitals follow the same energy order as the sigma bonding orbitals, with more electronegative atoms lowering the energy of the orbitals. There's one CO pi bond and a corresponding CO pi star orbital. Finally, there are four lone pairs on oxygen. Two are sp2 hybridized, and two are sp3 hybridized. Since sp3 orbitals are higher in energy than sp2 orbitals, we can distinguish between the two sets of lone pairs. From the Lewis structure, we can tell that all the bonds have electrons in them, and that the non-bonding orbitals are full. To double check that we have the correct number of electrons, we can also tally up the valence electrons from the molecular formula, C2H4O2. So there are eight total electrons from carbon, four from hydrogen, and 12 from oxygen, which gives us 24 total electrons. Yep, we put the right number in. The frontier molecular orbitals are here. The HOMOs are the sp3 lone pairs, and the LUMO is the CO pi star 